Greetings, people. Today is going to be a special Hobo Tech Tip. I'm going to show you guys how to hook up your own solar panel to one of the Jackery power stations or any other power station that can directly accept a solar panel. Today is going to be a special indoor edition because the winds are insane outside today so we're just going to do everything indoors i'm going to show you how to make the cable and we're going to hook it up and see how it works now as you guys recall i busted my new solar panel about a month into ownership it happened during the rtr quartzite i've been carrying it around since i've been using it it puts out somewhere around 50 watts and i didn't want to throw it away but i also didn't want to keep it hooked up to my main system because well it's only putting in 50 watts for a huge 100 watt panel I wanted to, instead of throwing it away, repurpose it. So I figured out by looking at the specifications for my Jackery power system that it can take a solar panel directly. What we have here is the Jackery 240 Explorer power station. These cables here are ones I just had laying around from uh, another project. And this just regular MC4 connector and just a, a wire I have to strip on the other side. I, so I have a red one and a black one, both for positive and negative. Then I have these alligator clips, which go to a 12 volt socket that I've used with this battery monitor. I don't really, I haven't really used these battery clamps for a very long time. And I figured, okay, I can sacrifice this. I'm gonna snip the alligator clips off and then I'll use this socket to hook into the Jackery. In case you don't know, the Jackery comes with this 12 volt charger. You can plug into a cigarette lighter. So this I typically plug into the 12 volt system of my RV. And then this side goes right into here, right into the Jackery. Now the Jackery only accepts a charge of 42 watts maximum. So it doesn't matter how many volts or how many amps you pump in, it's only gonna accept 42 watts maximum. It says right here, DC input 12 volts to 30 volts at 42 watts max. So that means this port, the input port can take a solar panel directly because most solar panels will do up to 20 volts. Since most solar panels put out between 12 and 19 volts for a 12 volt panel, you could safely connect just about any 12 volt solar panel to the Jackery. You don't need to buy the expensive two or three hundred dollar jackery brand 50 watt panel when you can just use any panel that you like and it doesn't even have to have to be 50 watts if you have a 20 watt or 25 watt one of those folding systems you could use that too doing the same method so all i gotta do is strip these two wires cut these alligator clips off of this and hook the two wires together that's all there is to it okay so i got a razor wire strippers and of course I don't have any shrink tubing so we'll use some electrical tape. All right there's one wire stripped and there we go that's two wires stripped. Now you don't have to worry too much about the gauge this is only going to push 50 watts you can use thinner cables than these but this is what I got. Fortunately they're already marked red and black so the, all the guesswork's taken out for me. I don't have to guess which one is positive and which one's negative. Positive is red and negative is black. So I'm gonna make sure I cut them, leaving plenty of room so I can reuse the clips again. Here we go. These go back in the toolbox. This is a nice heavy duty socket so I don't have to worry about it in the weather. Just like that. Didn't even lose a strand. So there we go, I have the ends for the socket stripped. We have a pair of butt connectors here, so we're gonna go ahead and use these. Okay, we got one crimp done. That's one connection done. I'm gonna electrical tape it. There we go. That'll make one good strong connection there. And then generally what I do, what I do for strength is to tape these together. There's the final product. It's all taped, everything's all taped together so it's nice and strong. This is the other connectors that were already on the cable. So it's a strong and waterproof, so shouldn't be a problem. Now it's time to go test it. Here's the busted solar panel. All right, I plugged the meter in just to make sure it's working. I got a green light now. It's putting out 19 volts and this, uh, this can't read that high, but it says it's full and it's got a green light. So we know that it's working and that the uh, positive and negative is connected correctly. Okay, the sun is coming back out and as the sun gets stronger, you can see we're getting, uh, here we go. We're almost at a full, full charge. 
The sun is still kind of peeking out behind this cloud. You see the wattage is varying, but it's working perfectly. Well, it's doing 35. I know it'll do 42. It almost hit 40 there a moment ago. Pretty good for a solar panel I was going to throw away. Okay guys, if you're interested in making your own cables, I'm going to go ahead and post these items up on my Amazon page if you want to go ahead and get these pieces. What you'll need is a 12 volt socket, otherwise known as a cigarette lighter socket, something with the wires on it like this. And this is a reasonable price, six bucks for one of them. Then what you're gonna need is a pair of MC4 connectors with pigtails. And pigtails are basically all these little wire connectors on the end. Now you can make these probably cheaper than $12 if you buy a um, piece of wire and the connectors. But then you need the tool the crimping tool, which is about $25, $30 for the crimping tool to put the ends on. So if you're just making one pair for yourself, it's probably better to just go ahead and buy this. You may be able to find these for about 10 bucks, but these are um, the ones that I recommend because they do have 10 gauge cable and they are also color coded, so you can't get them backwards. When you're making these yourself, you want to make sure you don't get the, the colors wrong. You want to make sure that the color wire on this section equals the color wire on the cigarette lighter socket section. So I'm going to post both of these up on my Amazon page. I'll put it under the solar section and you guys can go ahead and make your own cables if you want. Now besides the wires and the socket, you're going to need butt connectors and or solder the connect connections together. And you're going to need electrical tape and you may need wire strippers, crimpers, uh, things like that. I'm assuming if you're going to make your own cable, you already have those things. And that, guys, is how you build your own cable. Now, if you want me to build your cable for you, leave a comment below. i probably sell them for about 20 bucks a piece. If I get enough interest, I'll buy the materials and I'll start, I'll put them up on my store. I'll announce to you guys I have them up on my store. I'll start taking orders and I'll start making the cables for you. So if you want me to build the cable for you, and I'll do a high quality job, uh, I'll use a shrink tubing and everything, leave a comment below and say, I want one of those cables. Could you build it for me? Or something like that. And I'll take a tally if I get enough interest to buy a, a, a enough materials to maybe do like 10 of them, I'll go ahead and get started. So let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Until next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Hey Odin, how much do you care about hooking up a solar panel to the Jackery? Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Already gone, Joe Lazaro, Pat.